We wish to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is Treaty No. 6 territory and a traditional meeting ground and home of the First Nations, including both the treaty signatories, Cree, Soto, Nakoda Sioux, Stony and Cree Iroquois, as well as other Indigenous peoples, such as the Blackfoot and the Métis, who occupy this land. We extend our appreciation for the opportunity to live, create, and perform on this territory. Hi, I'm Sarah Pocklington, Executive Director of the Citadel Theatre in Edmonton. Welcome back. I joined the Citadel late last summer, and I'm thrilled to be here alongside Daryl Cloran and welcoming you back to the theatre for what promises to be a very exciting season. Theatre is our passion, and we are truly overjoyed every season to work with the artists and arts workers that call the Citadel Theatre home. Over the past year, we focused on getting back to what we do best, creating vibrant theatre and theatre education. With the onset of COVID-19, we had to get used to a few policies, but we didn't let that stop us. We remain committed to the overall comfort and safety of our patrons, artists and staff, and thank you for your continued support and patience as we navigate our path forward. Thank you for choosing us to be the theatre that you've helped build and continue to sustain. Your trust and faith in us is allowing us to say, welcome back. We know we have a strong future in large part because of you, and we can't thank you enough. We offer a special thank you to our season sponsor, Capital Power. Your support and loyalty has provided us the opportunity to continue to share theatre with the community and remain relevant during what has seemed like an impossible situation. As a not-for-profit organization, we rely on the support of our patrons and generous donors. A huge thank you to all of you. Choosing to support the Citadel allows this organization to continue producing world-class productions, supporting and educating people of all ages through Foot Theatre School and young companies, and stimulating our local economy by employing our fabulous team members that make it all happen. We hope that this season brings a renewed spirit to the Edmonton Arts District as we welcome our cherished returning patrons and invite new patrons to discover the delights we have in store. This is my first official season launch with the Citadel, so I'm very excited to hand it over to Daryl, who is going to unveil the 2022-23 season. Hello, I'm Daryl Cloran, Artistic Director of the Citadel Theatre. After two very challenging years, it's so exciting to finally be announcing a full season of programming. We're thrilled to welcome you back to the Citadel and to have our theatres coming to life again with great stories. Our 22-23 season is a mix of some of the shows we had previously planned and some very exciting new projects. As always, our season planning is guided by our three key artistic values. The Citadel is inclusive, innovative, and international. We strive to represent the diversity of Edmonton and the artists we welcome to our stages, the stories we share, and the voices we amplify. We believe in supporting the development of new work by great local and national playwrights. And we believe in amplifying exciting Edmonton theatre companies and building international partnerships that showcase the Citadel and Edmonton as one of the most exciting theatre destinations in the world. We have a full season of programming, which includes our main stage productions, our High Wire series, and some very special events. Ready? Here we go. We start things off this summer with a special presentation, a hilarious mystery based on a beloved board game, Clue by Sandy Rustin, based on the screenplay by Jonathan Lynn. It's a dark and stormy night, and you've been invited to an unusual dinner party. Each of the guests has an alias, Scarlet, Plum, Mustard. The butler offers a variety of weapons, and the host is, well, dead. So who done it? Join us for this madcap comedy inspired by the popular 1980s film that will keep you guessing until the final twist. Our main stage season starts with the post-Broadway premiere of Network by Lee Hall, adapted from the Academy Award-winning film by Patty Shayefsky. Howard Beale, news anchorman, isn't pulling in the viewers. In his final broadcast, he unravels live on screen. But when the ratings soar, the network seizes on the newfound profit, and Howard becomes the biggest thing on TV. This thrilling high-tech satire examines our relationship with media in a very timely way and stars the iconic broadcaster who is mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. 
I love this play, and I'm sure you will too. This season, all three of the productions in our High Wire series are partnerships with fantastic Edmonton-based theater companies and artists. It's a great way for the Citadel to help share the work of these exciting theater makers with a larger audience. First up, we'll present the Maggie Trees production of The Wolves by Sarah DeLapp. The Wolves is a Pulitzer Prize-nominated drama about a young women's soccer team. It follows nine teenage girls as they come together to prepare for their highly competitive games, as well as for the ever-nearing threshold into the uncharted territory of adulthood. This is a great play, and for our production, we'll transform the rice into an indoor soccer field. You'll definitely want to be there to catch the game. Every Christmas, I listen to Hoxley Workman's incredible Christmas album, Almost a Full Moon. A few years ago, the Citadel commissioned playwright Charlotte Corbet Coleman to write a musical inspired by and including Hoxley's fantastic songs. We're so excited to present the world premiere of this beautiful new holiday musical, which follows three storylines that chase in and out of different ages of Christmas, love, and family, winding together for a timeless story. If you're already a fan of Hoxley Workman's music, you're going to love this show. And if you don't know Hoxley's music, I'm positive you'll want to buy this album as soon as you leave the theater. And these songs will become just as much a part of your holiday tradition as they are mine. And speaking of holiday traditions, we're thrilled to once again continue Edmonton's favorite holiday tradition and celebrate the season with David Van Bell's beautiful 1940s adaptation of A Christmas Carol. Filled with classic holiday songs like I'll Be Home for Christmas and It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year, this production is the perfect way for you and your family to start your holiday season. Our second High Wire production is Deafy, a solo show written and performed by Chris Dodd. Chris is an Edmonton-based deaf performing artist and the founder and artistic director of Sound Off, Canada's national theatre festival dedicated to the deaf performing arts. Deafy blends ASL, spoken word, and captions to weave a story that deals with deafness, community, and what it really means to belong. We can't wait for you to see this fantastic performance that was a huge hit at last year's Fringe Festival. This past January, the pandemic again forced us to postpone some of our programming. One of those shows was The Royale by Marco Ramirez. We're so excited to announce that The Royale will happen next season as a special presentation. Inspired by the life of Jack Johnson, the first black heavyweight world champion, and set in 1905 in the racially segregated world of boxing, The Royale brings to explosive life the ultimate fight for a place in history. This is a thrilling, highly theatrical production that you won't want to miss. Every season, we bring Edmonton a fantastic large-scale musical. In our 22-23 season, we're thrilled to announce that we will produce Jersey Boys, the international musical phenomenon that takes you behind the scenes and behind the music of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. The rise, the tough times, the personal clashes, and the ultimate triumph of a group of friends whose music has endured for over four decades in the hearts of the public. You will have a great time at this show. In the spring, we're excited to present a theatrical, funny, and romantic new adaptation of Pride and Prejudice. Adapted by Kate Hamill and based on Jane Austen's beloved classic novel, this is a bold, surprising, and boisterous new imagining of the classic story of the outspoken Lizzie Bennet and impossibly aggravating Mr. Darcy and the absurdity and thrills of finding your perfect or imperfect match in life. Written in the 1950s, Trouble in Mind by Alice Childress couldn't be more relevant right now. It's the story of Willetta Mayer, a talented black actress who begins rehearsals for a new play about racism, written and directed by two white men. When Willetta finds that her arguments to tell the truth of the story are dismissed, she decides to take action. This classic script has recently had incredible revivals on Broadway and at theaters across the world. This is a great play, smart, insightful, and surprisingly funny. We're thrilled to share this incredible story with you. The final production in our High Wire series is First Métis Man of Odessa by Matt McKenzie and Maria Khumatova. Set in both Canada and the Ukraine and based on true events, this is a contemporary love story in the midst of a global pandemic. This is a production by Edmonton's Punctuate Theatre. Last season, we presented Punctuate's production of Bears, which audiences loved. We're thrilled to present this exciting new production by Punctuate. Come join the wedding fun in the Rice Theatre. Our final show of our main stage season is the world premiere of an innovative new musical, Prison Dancer. In 2007, a video of 1,500 inmates in a Philippines prison dancing to Michael Jackson's Thriller was posted to YouTube and quickly became one of the internet's first viral videos. 
The dancing inmates of Cebu are the inspiration behind this exciting new musical by Filipino-Canadian creators Romeo Candido and Carmen de Jesus. It's a great story of overcoming the odds filled with catchy pop tunes. I guarantee you'll leave the theater humming these songs yourself. And that's our season. Great musicals, thoughtful dramas, charming holiday stories, work by fantastic Edmonton artists, comedies, mysteries. It's a year packed full of exciting theater, and we hope you'll join us for the whole season. Thank you so much for your patience and generosity over the past two challenging years. We're here because of you, our audience. And it's meant the world that you've waited for us, pivoted with us, and pivoted with us again. We're thrilled to welcome you back to our theaters and share these incredible stories. We can't wait to see you in person.